Gibbs and Les Pauls from the late 1950s are revered by many players as one well of the holy grails of rock guitar tone. From their construction style and materials to Seth Lover's great patent applied four humbuckers, there are many components to their great tone that players still seek to replicate to this day. One of those components is a simple difference in the way that the volume and tone controls are connected to each other, which really affects the relationship between these controls. This is commonly referred to now as 50s wiring and may just be the key to unlocking some great sounds from your guitar. The difference in this wiring comes from the way that the tone capacitor is used to link the volume and tone pots. In a modern setup, the capacitor is generally tied to the input of the volume pot and the middle or wiper terminal of the tone pot. In this configuration, the tone control always has the full resistance of the volume pot and the full input signal from the pickup applied to it. With 50s wiring, the capacitor is instead tied to the output of the volume pot on the middle terminal and to the outer terminal on the tone pot, with the middle terminal of the tone pot tied to ground. This has two significant effects. Firstly, because the wiper of the tone pot is grounded, it shields the signal from any interference picked up by unused parts of the resist track inside the pot, giving you a quieter noise floor. Secondly, and crucially, it means that the resistance from the volume pot that's applied to the tone circuit, as well as the signal level from the pickup that hits the tone capacitor, is completely dependent on where you have your volume control set. This makes the tone and volume pots much more dynamically linked. We wired up a Demon S single cut with a Rebel Yale humbucker set in both modern and 50s configurations to illustrate how they differ. So, as you could hear, with the volume control on 10, there's very little difference between the two configurations. But as soon as we begin to change settings on the volume pot, the tone control really significantly shifts, giving a slightly brighter tone with a little more emphasis on the mid-range. It also affects the taper of the volume pot a little, adding a noticeable hump towards the top end of the travel. There's certainly not much of a case for saying one is better than the other, the 50s wiring certainly has some aspects which might suit a player who's a little bit more dynamic with their volume control. I hope that this has been a good demonstration of how 50s wiring might affect your tone. Go and give it a try, it's a really simple modification. <laughs> <laughs>